Greetings, everyone. Great to see you. And guess what? Today we have a special guest, and it is Liana. Remember, Liana comes on Thursday during our seeker time, and we haven't seen you in what a year and a half or two <laughs> almost. Seems like forever. <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> it does. So we're so glad that she wanted to come and join us today. So welcome, Liana. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you. Well, Liana, have you ever had a mosquito bite? All the time, yes. <laughs> really? And you know what? I have too. And you know, this summer we had that little nuisance mosquito that lives in the grass and we called them ankle biters. They were even on the news as ankle biters and they just bite right around your ankles. I got three of them right now. And yeah, well, they just itch. And when you get a mosquito bite, you scratch and you scratch and that only makes the itch, it itch more. Then your mom or dad says, don't scratch your mosquito bite. You try to scratch, you try not to scratch, but the more you think about it, the more it itches. Yes, and your little mosquito bite that you started with becomes an awesome, huge, gigantic, big bite. And it really is itching, right? So let's pretend Liana has a mosquito bite. Let's say, how about right here on your arm, Liana? We'll just pretend. Let's see if we can solve that problem with a mosquito bite. Maybe she, we have a better solution. How about gloves? We have a couple pair of gloves here. Want to try that one? Maybe gloves would solve the problem of having a mosquito bite. Let's see what she's going to do. Remember the bite's here. Okay, there she goes. Well, except now your hands get sweaty and it doesn't reach the bite. And the mosquito bite still itches still itches well okay gloves didn't work then that was an idea because you couldn't actually get to the mosquito right but it still itched okay how about a bandage here's like an ace an ace bandage if we bandage it she can't see it she can't feel it we can't feel the bump it'll be hidden under it so let's see let's try that okay we'll start right here and we'll go around, around, and now that there's no way she can feel that mosquito bite or see it, so maybe that'll solve the problem. Let's see. Okay, almost there. There you go. Okay, what, how does that, does that solve it? Mm, I don't think so. I know it's under the bandage and I still wanna scratch it. You still want to scratch it even though, hmm, let me see, let me just hold this down a little bit more. All right, well, do you know what works? I just thought of it. Hmm. Candy. If you take a piece of candy, you will think of how good it will taste. I mean, I love candy, I know, uh, I think, do you like candy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well then, here you go. Here's a piece of candy and if you take that candy and you're thinking about how's it going to taste and you pop it in your mouth, mmm, okay. And then you forget about your mosquito bite. It works. When you forget it, it doesn't itch anymore, right? Right. Okay, well, you know what? In the book of Romans, Paul writes about um, something that will uh, uh, pertain to our mosquito bite. So we're going to go in half in our Bible. We'll take the back half. We'll go in half again. We'll get it at Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. I'm at John. And go past Acts. And where are we? Right at Romans. So this is Romans 8, verse 18. Let's have Liana read that. What does Paul say? Paul says, We have suffering now, but the sufferings we have now are nothing compared to the great glory that will be given to us. Wow, that kind of sounds a little different. How can you have suffering and glory? Glory is happiness, joy, suffering, joy. Well, you know what? Paul was talking about a bigger problem, a bigger than a mosquito bite. But the way you solve the problem is still the same. When you think about something good, 
Hmm. Is anything good? Like eating a piece of candy? Yes, like eating a piece of candy, but even bigger than that, something good such as maybe how much Jesus loves us, um, then our problems don't seem so big. And we ha when we have a problem, it can be a problem whether it's a mosquito bite, a cold, or a family member in, that's in the hospital. Paul wants us to remember that God is Lord over everything. And, and that includes mosquito bites and messy problems. And yeah. think about everything God has done for you and your problems may not seem so difficult. Yes, exactly. So when we think about all that God's done with for us, that we can trust in Him. Right, we can trust in Him and leave it to Him. We can give all those worries and cares to God and He will help us through, as you said, what those messy problems. So let's pray about that. Ready? Dear God. Thank you for being Lord over us all. And when we face a problem, let us remember that Jesus loves us. Help us to bring our worries and problems to you. In your name we, we pray. pray. Amen. Amen. Well, have a great week. It's been great having Liana here. And have a great week. But remember, when you come to, as Liana said, those messy problems, be sure you give it to God because He in prayer, and then He will help us through it. Bye, everyone. See you next week. Bye.